Teenager declared brain dead by doctors five years ago has died following surgery. The story of Jahai McMath and her family's fight to keep her alive captivated the world. CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw joins us in the newsroom with the latest on this developing story. Jen? Tony and Christina, Jahai was on life support in New Jersey Hospital. Her mother says it has been a battle not only to keep the teen breathing, but one that has been tied up in the courts to bring her daughter home. Sadly, she would never make it. Jahai McMath's family says this video is proof their child wasn't brain dead. Come on, Jai. The 13-year-old was declared brain dead after complications from a tonsillectomy in December of 2013. Jahai is from Oakland, but family moved her to New Jersey because it's the only state to accommodate religions that don't recognize brain death. Jahai is doing so much better physically. Jahai's mom and dad gave an interview to the Terry Schiavo Foundation over the years, insisting their daughter was improving. But healthcare professionals say once someone is declared brain dead, it is a death sentence. There's no evidence that um, uh, that patients who are brain dead can ever recover. Uh, there's no recovery from death. You may remember a similar case, baby Israel Stinton from Vacaville. He suffered traumatic brain injuries following an asthma attack in 2016. Doctors declared him brain dead, but still his family fought to keep him on life support. And cases like Jahai's giving them hope. He's still alive. He's definitely still alive. Israel's family lost in court. A judge ordered he be taken off the ventilator. But Jahai's attorney was able to keep fighting. That is until last week. Her mother says Jahai died after complications during an intestinal surgery and told the Bay Area News Group, I'm devastated about losing my daughter. Everything I did revolved around Jahai. And Jahai's body will be brought home next week, but the fight for both children is far from over. I spoke with the attorney for Israel this evening. She says her firm is suing the state, but it could be years before there's a resolution. A long and painful journey in both cases. Jen, thank you.